Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I am Sophia Creeks. And I'm Josh Thomas. Today is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an A day with LS5 and advisory. Tomorrow is a B day. If you have an announcement you would like to submit to the nightly news, we have a request form linked in the description of our shows on YouTube. You can also email chs.dkn at gmail.com. In honor of National French Week, there will be a trivia question displayed every day from November 4th to November 9th. All correct answers will be entered in a raffle for a small prize offered by the French Honor Society. All five winners will be announced on November 10th. Today's National French Week trivia question is, what percentage of English words come directly from French? Recently, Fairfax County firefighters visited the school to aid our sports medicine class as they learned important medical skills. Reporter Natalia Miranda has more. Sports medicine provides students an opportunity to practice procedures used when treating common athletic injuries. One procedure, backboarding, refers to a technique used when rolling a patient with suspected spinal trauma onto a backboard in order to immobilize them. Well, what we were doing today is uh, a workshop on backboarding and what we've learned in sports medicine and what the athletic training student aids and the athletic training program does is we always rehearse your standard scenario. However, the reason that we got the fire department and, and EMS in here today is to do some specific scenarios on uh, a little bit more tricky backboarding techniques. Mr. Boss um, had uh, reached out to the local fire station, Fire Station 21, which is Fair Oaks Fire Station, uh, just to help with his class to um, review some of our backboarding techniques, um, some of our experiences with backboarding, and some tips and tricks to help the students learn about uh, some of the head injuries and backboarding uh, experiences they may come across. Removing equipment like a football helmet and football pads, which is probably the worst equipment to remove in any type of backboarding position, just based off of the nature and the size of the pads. We did one where they were on the gymnastics mat, which is like really squishy. so. It was kind of more difficult because they were like bent in different shapes from the squishy mat. Uh, a very tricky scenario with a gymnast uh, in a gymnastics pit, let's say, that has a cervical fracture and you have to make sure that the entry is really uh, streamlined and deliberate to not move the head and spine. The other station is going to be backboarding a person who may be positioned on their belly and not on their back which seems to be the most easiest one. They were just on their stomach, and then we did all the strapping and the, the um, neck brace and all that stuff. I've been looking into firefighting as a possible career for a while. This was really interesting because it really showed me kind of what they do and how they don't only do firefighting, they also do emergency medical care, and they'll help people with all different types of injuries. 
Hearing from professionals gave students a chance to apply their classroom skills to real-life scenarios. This has been Natalia Miranda for the Nightly News. Now back to you. We hope you enjoyed a glance at professional opportunities given at Chantilly. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Sophia Creeks and Josh Thomas reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.